Hello everyone, it's Angela from the Chaotic Life of the Planner. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be planning out the week of Monday, January 9th to Sunday, January 15th. This is my Moxie Life Vertical Flagship. I am so excited to be back in this planner again. I did choose the Chevron cover and I have not even started on any of my goal setting yet, but that is definitely my plan for this week. So I did just get back, like it is currently Wednesday. I got home like 3.30 this morning from dropping my daughter off at Disney World for the Disney College program. So I am still running on Disney fumes, which is why I thought that I would use this kit from Simply Smith Stickers. This is an older kit, um, but I absolutely love it. And I thought, you know, this is just going to be perfect for this week. I don't have a ton going on, and I really want to use these full boxes. So we are going to make this work. So this was last week. I believe I got this planner on Thursday when it came in the mail. It was supposed to come Wednesday. It didn't come till Thursday. And Friday, we were headed to Universal. So, of course, I had to use this kit from Alexander and Nicole Plans. But today, we are going to be using this kit from Simply Smith Stickers. So, I will have all of the shops linked in the description box down below that I am going to be using. And this is not a kit designed specifically for the Moxie Life. And since it is an older kit, it hasn't been reformatted. So there may be some stickers that don't fit perfectly, but I am okay with that. I do not mind. I will make it work. So I'm just going to trim this thick washi using my little Cricut slicing tool here. So we had a great time in Florida. You guys, the weather was amazing. Like, I don't think that I've actually ever been to Florida when I had to wear, like, a jacket. Um, which, during the day, it was fine. I just wore a sweater. But I'll tell you, when the sun goes down, it was chilly. We had a wonderful time at Universal. I guess it was Marathon Weekend at Disney um, when we were there, so... There were a lot of people in the parks. Um, I don't know about Disney World specifically since we did not actually go to any of the Disney parks. We just went to um, downtown, to Disney Springs, I guess it's called. And then we did some shopping, did some, you know, ate, did some fun things. We actually got to ride the Skyliner for the very first time, which I was super stoked about because the last time we were there, they were building it, so we didn't get to ride it. So that was a lot of fun. Um, anyways, due to the fact that it was marathon weekend, it just seemed like there were a ton of people there. Universal was very busy on Saturday. Anyways, the lines were long, all the things, but we had a good time. We got to ride a lot of things that we wanted to ride. Didn't get to ride everything that we were looking to ride, but that's okay. There's always next time, right? Very few times do you actually get to do everything that you wanted to do. So we did get her checked into the apartment complex that they use for the Disney College program. It is called Flamingo Crossing. You guys, I am so excited for her. It is really, really, really amazing. It's a beautiful campus. She has a building that it, her building is, let me rephrase that. Words are hard, y'all. Her building is close to where all of the buses um, come. So she's close to the entrance, close to the bus stop, close to the rideshare um, area if you wanted to take an Uber or whatever. She is close to the community center. Yeah, we could not be... I don't know why I can't get that to cut better. Perhaps I need to do this. We cannot be more pleased with the location of her building. I mean, if she had her own car, it probably wouldn't matter so much. She probably would have rather had been closer to the back of the complex because that is where the parking lot is. There's actually not really that much parking there. But anyways, so far, so good. I got her all checked in. 
We went shopping. She's got, oh, that's another thing. There is a complex, like a shopping complex, right across the street from Flamingo Crossing. So, I mean, she has access to, it's a, it's a little itty bitty tiny Target, but it's still a Target. There is restaurants, Starbucks, all kinds of things that, you know, a younger person would want to have accessible to them. So she is going to be just fine. She's been doing some like class type things that they have to learn the bus system. And I'm not sure what else at some point, I think maybe this weekend she has like her, tra what they call traditions, which is where basically she learns how to interact with the public up to the Disney standard. Um, next week she starts training for her job where she gets like her costume. And so anyways, all the fun things. We got to see some friends while we were there. She got to obviously meet her roommates, which, oops, I don't need that one, which is exciting. So far, everything is coming together nicely for her. She was a little bit sad to have me leave. I was sad to leave her there, but it is part of life, right? She's already talking about extending until July 1st. So things are good. We cannot wait to go back. I think the plan is to go in March, but I think everybody's plan is to go in March. Although I'm not really sure that April would be much different. So we'll see how that goes. Anyways, I'm going to put the state covers on here. We're just getting all the things done today. Michaela and Lucas are still on their way back from Georgia. So I'm just chilling at home by myself. Um, my dogs were very excited to see me. The puppies grew like weeds while I was gone. They are, let's see, two weeks and a couple days now. Of course, they all opened their eyes while we were gone, which means they are now like climbing out of the little kiddie pool that we have them in. So I'm going to have to deal with that at some point today. Figure out where else I'm going to put them. I'm going to go ahead and use this little weekend sticker right here. The colors in this kit are so pretty. So, so pretty. Okay. The next thing I am going to do is mark my dinner slot. I think I'm just going to do some dotted lines just for something different. Um, I started like the whole dotted line craze like probably nearly two decades ago because I was a scrapbooker and it was like my favorite thing to do. So we will do some dotted lines right here. I got those marked. The next thing I am going to do is add some silverware stickers. So let's see. I know I have these over here from Orange Umbrella Co. So I think I will use these right here. So obviously like since today's Wednesday, Monday and Tuesday were eat out days since we were traveling. I'm actually really glad that I made it home in the middle of the night because today, I guess like there was that whole like the FAA thing. I don't really know. I haven't followed it yet. One of my kids texted me and said, good thing you're already home mom because like all of the flights are canceled. So I guess that was a thing. I haven't looked into it yet, but I will do that later. All right, so that's pretty good for the bones of the week. Um, I've already done my pre-planning. I'm using this Ultimate Budget Planner by Papers by Jessica Ann for my budgeting, and she does have these like um, weekly pages in there. So I just went ahead and used that for pre-planning stuff since I don't think I'm going to be using it for anything else at this point. I may use it for tracking expenses at some point, but I'm not there yet. 
So I want to go ahead and maybe we'll just go ahead and add in full boxes first. And then we can go ahead and add in the other things later. So let's just do it down here. I don't know if I'm going to put them all. I think I'm going to stagger them. So Liberty doesn't get any of her free passes yet. Like she can't get into the parks for free until she gets like her card or whatever, which she doesn't have yet. But she said her roommate had uh, passes that she could share with her. So she was thinking that she might go to the park, one of the parks tomorrow. But today she was just going to be working on some school stuff because she still is taking a full course load. So that is fun. And then I think tonight she said she was going to go to the Polynesian, which she's really excited about, and watch fireworks. So they do have like the full bus system that can pretty much take them anywhere. The problem is when you first get there, you don't have all of your employee cards and passes and whatnot. So you don't have access to everything quite, you know, at the very beginning. So that was a little bit of a challenge. I guess somebody tried to take the DCP bus to Disney Springs and then they couldn't get into that location because they didn't have their um, employee card or cast member card yet. So they ended up having to take an Uber to the public entrance, which is kind of frustrating. So this was the date that Liberty checked into Flamingo Crossing, got her room assignment, all of that sort of thing. And I just sat there and waited for her to finish with that. This was my, that's not going to fit too big, too big. Let's put that back there. I think I do have some of these mixed up. I was looking at them and I had some from my daily duo kit as well as my weekly vertical kit. So I think, let's see. I think, yes, this goes, I believe, with the daily duo kit. Okay. Now we're back. I'm just going to use one of these little flags, I think, to mark. Let's see, I'll use this. Let's use this green. Mint green right here. This was my flight. It was like, I think I had like an 11 something flight. We did leave a little bit late because our flight crew was delayed, but that's okay. So Wednesday, which is where we are right now, Michaela and Lucas are driving home from their trip to Georgia. They should get home probably like seven or eight. Um, tomorrow, which is Thursday, is trash day. No, wrong, wrong day. That's Friday. Friday. Well, technically Friday is trash day, but I have to put trash out Thursday night. It would probably work out fine if I didn't put the trash out until Thursday night now because they seem to be coming later and later. And then this is payday. So we're going to go ahead and add some script stickers on there in a few minutes. I'm just not quite ready for that yet. Um, the only other thing I have is Sunday church. I know it's not very uh, exciting. Like it's just kind of a chill week, which is okay. I... I like chill weeks every now and then. So Sunday we'll go to church. And I think that is about all I have going on this week. So I need to go ahead and get some additional stickers in here. Lucas didn't have any speech this week because he was traveling with his mother. So we don't have any of that to add in. So we can definitely add a laundry sticker. Definitely add a sewing sticker. Maybe we'll do something with that. I really missed being in a weekly, like just having everything laid out so I can see it all like in one overview. I really did miss that. And I really am excited to be working on my goals again. Sometimes if we're not careful, like personal growth can just be like tossed to the wayside. 
and I really don't want to do that anymore. One of the things that I learned when we were in Florida was, oh my gosh, I had like five days where we had over 10,000 steps every day, and I was really sore. I'm like, I have got to get my self in motion on a regular basis. All right, let's use this little pig icon from Simply Smith Stickers for payday because I love the little piggy. I've got this um, church icon right here. Put that over here. I'm not sure which service we'll go to yet. It will just depend. We'll either... There's three services, so I know we will definitely not go to the early one because there is no children's programs for, at, for the 8 o'clock service. So here is... Uh, let me show you this. Trash Day from Orange Umbrella Co. So that is the number, just in case you are interested in ordering that. We can probably go ahead and... Let's see. Let's use this one over here. I don't really need like a brain dump area in this planner because I have one... Actually, I probably have them in a couple of areas. But we can use this little YouTube girl from Simply Smith because she's adorable. So let's do that. And then let's see what this looks like. No, I don't really like that. Well, I do like it. Let me rephrase that. I do like that sticker. I just don't like the way that it looks under that little doodle girl right there. So what we will do instead is use... <coughs> so I did have a little bit of a distraction. My mom just called me back. I had called her earlier this morning, which is totally fine. So I think I am going to use the stencil from Erin Condren and just draw my little circles right here for my YouTube videos. I'm going to try and do three this week, but we'll have to see since, I mean, it's already Wednesday. And then I think I might actually go ahead and do the same thing for my sewing projects. As I was editing this, I realized that I had some technical difficulties, and for some reason my camera decided that the microphone was not going to work when I was in the middle of a clip. So I decided to just go ahead and speed up the rest of this video so that you guys could still see it. I do appreciate everyone who has watched my channel, left me comments, hit the like button, all the things. If you are new here, please do hit the red subscribe button. I would really love it if you would stick around. I will have all of the sticker shops and products listed in the description box down below. If you're interested in using them, I would greatly appreciate it, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys!